this is one of New Zealand's darkest days. Clearly what has happened here is an extraordinary and unprecedented act of violence. Straight to our Fox News alert, 49 people are dead after gunfire erupts inside two mosques. Moments ago, President Trump tweeted his condolences. In part, he wrote, my warmest sympathy and best wishes go out to the people of New Zealand after the horrible massacre. The U.S. stands by New Zealand for anything we can do. God bless all. And with that, let's go out to Kitty Logan, who's also following the story in London with the breaking developments. Kitty. Yes, good morning, guys. Well, these shootings happened at two separate mosques in the city of Christchurch. That's on the southern island of New Zealand. And New Zealand police say that these attacks were well planned. Now, the gunfire started up at around 1.45 p.m. local time. That's a time when the mosques are busy with people attending Friday prayers. 41 people died in the first mosque, which was attacked. One witness there described the scene. I was uh, hearing that uh, shooting after shooting after shooting. It went on about um, uh, six uh, minutes or more, and uh, I could hear screaming and crying, and uh, I saw some people were, you know, dropped dead. Police also found two bombs fixed to a car which didn't go off. They, they detained four suspects immediately after the shootings as well. One man in his late 20s has already been charged with murder. Authorities have not named this suspect, but an Australian man is being linked to the attack. He also posted a lengthy anti-immigration manifesto in which he claimed responsibility. A graphic video of the attack was also posted online. Facebook later removed it. Police say none of these suspects were on any kind of terror watch list. Now, at least 20 people were also injured in these attacks. They were rushed to hospitals for emergency treatment. Police have cordoned off the area surrounding the mosques. They've urged people to stay indoors for now, of course, it's night time in New Zealand and in darkness the city remains on lockdown and these shootings have of course met with international condemnation. President Trump, as you say, says the US stands by New Zealand after what he described as horrible massacres and the White House has added a statement. The United States strongly condemns the attack in Christchurch. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. We stand in solidarity with the people of New Zealand and their government against this vicious act of hate. And now New Zealand is on high alert, although police have reassured the public that they don't believe that there is a further attack planned. But certainly this comes as a shock for a very quiet and normally peaceful nation. Back to you guys. Yeah, they're not used to this. Thank you so much, Kitty.